yeah, so we're pretty much done. Christ, I'm starting cramping. All right, what's going on, you guys? So I jumped on the scale this morning, and I weighed in at 175, which is not bad, you know, because on Monday we were at what, 175 as well. Um, I actually was at like 174, but the thing is, is holding that camera um, or holding my phone, it it adds uh, close to a half a pound, honestly. So I'm, I, I think I'm really at 174, which is great. Um, I think the main thing now is just really focusing on where I'm at. And that's where some of the biggest struggles are things, I don't want to call it withdrawals, but it's kind of like having a withdrawal. You know, you get to a point where you're complacent, you feel good about it, and then you just naturally just start falling back where you were initially. And I started noticing that over the last couple of days is, you know, as I'm getting closer and closer, I just realized I'm like five pounds away from being where I was last year. And I was probably in my, my pinnacle of my fitness but um i'm so close like i'm literally like there and now it's like to the point where you know taking it to the next level as far as my you know body fat percentage um you know it's continuing to hit the gym hard um to continue to focus on the diet and i just realized over the last couple of days like man i'm slipping i am like no joke i'm slipping and you know that's something i just got to continue to focus on so as you're going through your journey you guys um, and hey, I appreciate you guys that send me your your my stories and you know send me messages on Instagram. Um, I appreciate that, guys. Keep sending those my way. Um, it gives me that that extra push, man. It gives me inspiration. So uh, let's continue to build our network, you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and make today happen. Uh, we're gonna hit the gym. Probably knock out some cardio. I don't know what the workout is yet. I'll check it, and then uh, you guys will see it. So that's the plan. All right, you guys. One more thing, man is uh as you gotta watch man you guys know by now i've been drinking these monsters zero ultras for the last couple weeks man and uh i feel like it's helping me i really do but uh i could be just very naive and ignorant to the fact that there aren't any health benefits and actually there's some health risk involved with drinking the monsters so if you guys do have any knowledge or comments or feelings towards me drinking monsters while I'm doing my keto cut, please let me know. Because obviously, going to work, hitting the gym, making you guys these videos, I haven't done my research when it came to this other than, you know, it's like pretty much nothing in it as far as calories, sugars, all of that gives me some energy uh, for hitting the gym. So. Uh, if you guys let me know what you think, please, please do. All right, you guys, you know this is where we usually go to when we are looking for a snack or, or lunch. I think we're going to go ahead. Man, I don't know. No roasted garlic or free knowledge. Uh, could I get pepperoni? Uh, spicy uh, sauce, Italian sausage. Uh, could I get bacon? And I uh, can I actually do Canadian bacon too. All right. That's all for meat. Perfect. Can I get uh, onions? And uh, jalapenos. And then could I also get a uh, roasted garlic?
Um, Asiago, extra Parmesan, and then uh, is that mozzarella as well? Or? Yeah, I can think of more of that. Thank you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Sorry right, guys, so this is honestly probably the best meal you can have. Super keto friendly, we just don't eat the crust. Um, that's typically the way that I do, so. All right guys, we're gonna start off with some cardio. I weighed myself like an hour ago. I was like at 180. So, you know, it's obviously water ain't quite a bit today, but I'm gonna jump on the Stairmaster for a while. I don't know how long until I feel satisfied. And then we'll jump into triceps and abs and uh, calves. Yeah, I sweated a lot, you guys. So we did a Stairmaster for 30 minutes. Now I'm doing an incline on a treadmill for 30 minutes. All right, guys, so I went ahead and did some tricep extension. So obviously today's the tricep workout. So what I did is uh, three uh, triple drop sets. Um, after doing this first set, um, it was very tough. Like my my triceps are very, one of my weaker points, and obviously the legs as well, but I've always struggled with my triceps cramping. It doesn't matter how much water I drink. Um, I don't know if it's because they're under underdeveloped, but yeah, after doing the first set, I was already feeling the, the cramping as well, ex extending. Um, so even after doing this portion right here, yeah, I was definitely feeling it. You know, it was tough. It was definitely tough, but, you know, regardless, I was able to get through it. Um, and then we went ahead and jumped right into um, flat bench, um, close grip, uh, just to go ahead and continue to work on those triceps. Uh, triple drop sets for these as well, three sets. I uh, went ahead and started off with uh, 225s and 10s on the side. And then what I did is drop, take the 10 off. Um, and then I went ahead and took off uh, the 25 and then, you know, finished off with just the, the 25, which was 95 pounds to finish it off. Um, this one actually didn't feel too bad. I think the tricep extensions are really the, the trouble area for me um, just because of that movement. Uh, but we really just focused on those two things, uh, you know, obviously tonight. And then uh, we also did abs and I did some uh, calf raises. I didn't get any footage for that. But um, overall, um, it was a pretty good tricep workout. Um, I, I felt like I could have did more volume um, because the, you know, the whole purpose of doing the triceps is um, I felt like I have a pretty decent sized bicep muscle, but the tricep area is something that's very lacking um, as far as perception. And, you know, when you look, um, you know, straight on, you know, my arms don't look that big. So it might be the bicep, but uh, overall, pretty good workout. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done. Triceps start cramping. You know, like that's one thing, man. When I do try some workouts, they just cramp right away. But uh, I did some abs, did some calves. Gonna finish up this ab workout and then uh, we'll just back in cardio and then that's what happened. All right, guys, so we're almost done. Finish up the last one of the cardio. And if you guys have any suggestions on the tricep thing, man, my whole life, man, triceps and legs. 